Hope you brought your swim trunks because Awashi is here to make a big splash. Boasting a unique and vibrant design, this aquatic mistress really can change the flow of battle in ways you can't even fathom. Her playstyle certainly isn't shallow and gives both microcore troopers and beasts alike their tie to shine. For sure, Awashi is a great figure and a fun one to paint. So what are you waiting for? Let's dive right in. Before painting any miniature, you want to make sure that you prime the figure. For Awashia, I used a flat gray primer. There are a lot of flat curves and surfaces, and I did not want too many shadows forming under the tentacles. Gray primer is a great equalizer when priming, as it's neither too bright nor too dark. Once the primer is dry, you'll want to grab a nice true green. I'm using Vallejo Flat Green. Find all the spots where the figure's skin is showing, the tentacles, the arms, the head. There are many twists and curves on this model, so take care to really look over the figure, unless you miss something important. Awashi is head and body print separately, and I do recommend painting both individually before attaching. This gives you better control and makes all the hard to reach spots a bit more accessible. Green is my favorite color to work with. It's eye-catching, vibrant, and very easy to apply it to painted miniatures. Take care to add a strong layer of green to wash you and she'll really stand out and appear dynamic on the battlefield. Now that I got my green layer done, I grabbed my flat brown from Vallejo and applied it to all the places where the gold was going to be. This is a method called undercoating, essentially where you apply a layer first and then add a layer over top of it. And it's great to use for metallics. I talked about this a lot and talked about it in great detail in my last video, but adding a brown undercoat for gold really accentuates the applied metallics. It fills in the shadows and the hard to reach spots that you missed. And overall just gives it a more naturalistic and shiny approach. Make sure to look all around the, the figure, double check. I know I certainly missed a few spots and grab all the bands on the arms and the legs and the metallic plates and the cloth as well. We're almost done with the base coat. I grabbed my Cantor Blue from Citadel and applied it from the pot to my wet palette. I don't use Citadel paints as often as my other brands, primarily because I do hate the pots and I don't like the price point of Citadels. But I do have to say that I do like their blue paint. It applies really well and I always try to use it for my cloth and fabrics on my miniatures. Citadel paints especially you want to thin down, so make sure you mix in a bit of water or thinner if you haven't, because they come very thick out of the bottle. Take care and apply it to the front cloth, as well as the belt and the back cloth. Watch out for the other areas you just painted. If you get any paint on it, you'll have to wait for it to dry and go back with another layer of the same color. As mentioned, make sure your paints are thin, otherwise you'll cover up those folds and crevices of the fabric, losing that important detail for the shading later on. Base coats are finished, but a washa still needs that shiny flare to really drive home her regality. After making sure the brown layer has dried, I grabbed Greedy Gold from Army Painter and went over the part I just painted brown. Make sure you don't miss the aglets, for lack of a better word, in her front cloth. And rather simply, the base coat is done. This figure may seem intricate, but having only three colors really makes this a simple process. Now would be a good time to glue the head to the model as well, as we've got paint on all the hard to reach spaces. Yeah. 
For this color palette, I recommend using a dark brown wash as it accentuates the golds and greens very well and it adds a natural tone but fitting to dry in. For this model, I used Army Painter Dark Tone. Army Painter washes act almost as a thin glaze over the entire model and it does seem to give it that classic hairscape one coat and shaded feel. The best out of all the washes I've used so far. Also remember, take note, that Army Painter shades should not be thinned down. They settle and dry much lighter than they initially appear, and they can get some funky results if you add too much liquid to it. Go through and make sure there's no pooling on the tentacles or the body parts, and wait for it all to dry. I would usually recommend waiting about an hour after the wash has been applied, just so it doesn't run into any paints you activate further. The figure is essentially finished at this point, looking much like it does on the card. These next steps are optional, but I highly recommend it to really allow the unit to stand on the battlefield. For best results, go through and add another layer of flat green to wash his skin, while avoiding the recesses of the recently applied wash. Give another layer to the gold, but this time use bright gold, the next level of brightness for the metallic. Again, avoiding those I added Army Painter Crystal Blue to the raised part of the cloth, using the side of my brush to add some eye-catching contrast. Lastly, I went through and added a bit of visual separation to the gold, and used a metallic red, gemstone from Army Painter, in the middle of the band and the small plates on the front. Add a gloss varnish to the figure to protect it, and add a perceived layer of moisture, and you're good to go. The wash hit took me about 25 minutes to paint, and for having such a short paint time, the results really are effective. Swimmingly, even. That's the last underwater joke, I promise. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, it certainly helps if you do that, so you can get updates on new HeroScape videos I'm making. I also stream my painting live on Twitch when I have the time, so be sure to check me out there. This is another NGC custom I've painted, and if you're interested in more 3D printed material for HeroScape, you should check them out at newgenerationscustoms.com or by joining their Discord. The link in the description. I am the Rogue Idealist, encouraging you to think differently, and thanks again for watching.